I swear I'm a film critic. Hello, movie people. Welcome to a new episode of The Cine Guy. I'm your host, Steven Angulo. Let's talk film. Now, what I'm about to talk is a rather controversial movie because it deals with a rather controversial topic that's engaging in our beloved nation. That is to do with, uh, you know, police brutality, the murdering, the murder of unarmed people of color. You know, stuff that nobody wants to talk about, but they need to because it is a serious problem that we're all facing today. If it could happen to any one of us, it could happen to me. I am a Hispanic male, all right? People see me as a regular person, but there are those who see me as a threat for no reason, just because of what I look like. So when you're sitting back and and watching this, do take it with a grain of salt and understand one thing. We here at Sinegai don't mean to you know fight fire with fire light up the fire add fuel to the fire i believe is what the saying is so we're just going to talk about a really really well written and beautiful film that's what we do we look at movies that's what matters that's most is what keeps us going in these dark times we're living in so without further ado let's talk about queen and slim now i've heard of black lives matter obviously i mean i'm wearing the shirt right now look Hopefully you can see it, because I can't tell whether you can or not. But this movie was an explosion of that movement. Like, it's a modernized tale of Bonnie and Clyde. But it paints as a whole one-off scenario in which a black couple is forced to, you know run for their lives when they accidentally shoot a cop in self-defense. So like I said, it is a what-if scenario because with all these, you know, issues going on around the world where people of color get shot by the police for sometimes no reason at all, just because of what they look like, and, you know, we're left wondering why did this happen? The, the what-if here is, what if that person being brutalized by the cop fought back and retaliated this and this is the outcome that comes out of it so we follow queen she's a young black lawyer and slim a young simple young a simple young man they're on a date they're you know having a good time and let me just say the character they have their chemistry is so amazing that you just grow to love these people all right they're amazing characters and you know you just grow to love them you know but then as they're driving, they get pulled over by a cop. Because, you know, that's how it always sparks. Now, the cop is very suspicious of them because, think about it, white cop and a black couple in a car. So, it's all like, hmm, where are the drugs? All that stuff. Well, he wasn't Murray. He wasn't, you know, full with that. But he was, like, thinking that, like, okay, this person probably has drugs. This person has a gun or something like that. So, you know what he was thinking immediately. So, yeah, this cop is a real jerk, so to say. I don't want to say any other word, so I don't offend anybody. But, yeah, he's a jerk. I mean, he takes Slim's license, doesn't even look up his information. He just sits there, looks at, goes on his radio like, yeah, I might have a possible DUI here. Might need backup. Yeah. That's it. Even though even though Slim's like, hey, I don't drink, man. But, like, but he, the cop's like, doesn't obviously doesn't believe him because he just sees a black man. He probably thinks he's out there, you know, weed dealing or something because, you know, it is. So, yeah, this white cop is suspicious of them. He makes he makes Slim pop the trunk, searching it for like, hey, you got any drugs? Where are the drugs? Now, of course, Queen is in the front thinking like, uh, officer, what do you think you're doing? Like, you have no reason to search and everything. This cop, we have done nothing wrong. Let us go. So, in the time, you're like, Queen, keep it down, all right? We're, we're trying to defuse the situation. You're kind of, like, making it a little worse by, you know, shouting that tone, so to say. But the part that gets worse is when Slim speaks. He's like, um, could you please hurry up? It's really cold. Okay, that seems reasonable. What does the cop do? Does he say, watch your tone. We're almost done here. That could have been all right. No, instead he closes the trunk and po- takes the, draws his gun and points it at Slim. Get on the ground with that stuff. Like... What life-threatening situation was there that you need to draw your gun all because somebody was cold? Oh, my 
gosh. Oh, my gosh. I mean, here's the thing. The police go through these, like, you know, these all this intense training to, like, make sure, you know, they do their job correctly. Yet, if you increase your tone at them, what, do they suddenly feel like, oh, no, I challenged my authority. I got to regain my power. Get on the ground before I kill you. Well, to be fair, we all know why you drew his weapon. If he had pulled over a white person and the white person said, hey, hurry up, I'm cold. What will the cops say? In a minute, sir, I'm almost done here. Okay, there's no drugs here. Have a good night. Bye bye. But no, it's black, so it's all like bang, bang, bang. It's a sad reality, you know, because people just judge by the color of your skin. So, yeah, we have uh, Slim holding on for his dear life. He's like, what's going on? What did I do wrong? He didn't do nothing wrong. That's the thing. And, of course, Queen gets off. He's like, hey, I'm reaching for my phone. He's, she repeats, I'm reaching for my phone. But the guy's just screaming, trying to, like, gain his authority. He ends up shooting Queen in the leg. So Slim fights back and accidentally ends up shooting the cop in self-defense. Now, it's not Slim's fault, right? It all happens so fast. I mean, yeah, he could have pointed the gun at him and be like, hey, enough of this, enough of this. And the cop will be like, oh, shoot, my power is gone. I'm easy, man, easy. Drop, put the gun down. We're done here. Then again, I don't know what the outcome could have been, but that could have been one of the results. Now, I don't condone police violence or saying the cop deserved it because he was asking for it. No, no, not at all. But there could have been a much better way to handle that situation, all right? That cop did not have to overreact by drawing his weapon just because Slim spoke. What? Am I supposed to say, yes, sir, okay, sir, like, what, I'm... <sighs> I'm not your dog that had to obey all your commands. I'm a human being. Let's, let's, think, let's talk, all right? Let's talk to make sure this situation does not escalate even quicker. And you always have people saying, respect the police, obey their commands. What happened here? Slim was unarmed. He put his hands on the ground. He put his hands on, the, on his head. He wasn't doing anything wrong. He opened the trunk for him and all that stuff. So what that this is where the cop was in the wrong all right there was no reason to you know retaliate like that so in a way both parties were kind of wrong the cop did not have to bully them and they did not have to shoot him that is for sure because now this sparks oh my god this sparks quite the journey in which they're trying to like you know escape to their freedom all while realizing that their little action light lit up a fire that let's just say that's it's all it's still burning today so the film could have just been about a couple on the run okay typical vigilante you know i'm an innocent man kind of stuff but no once the police cam footage of what happened goes viral they're seen as icons and mars of the black lives matter movement i mean they didn't mean to do it but the fire's already been started all because people see like hey you saved yourself against a bad evil cop we should probably do the same, right? There's protests, riots, typical stuff you see when it comes to black versus blue. And you can see how it escalates just so, you know, just so insane when there's a massive protest, you know, of like, you know, the whole black community is telling the cops, hey, let them go. Let them be free. All right. They didn't do anything wrong. But the worst part, of course, was Junior, this teenage boy that... You know, they that meets up with a uh, queen and slim and he looks up to them. You know, he sees them as, you know, icons and symbols of against of fighting against police brutality. <sighs> but of course, there are those who misinterpret various messages. And it all happens when Junior goes to the protest and starts you just spitting and yelling at this cop like, what are you going to do, cop? You got to shoot me? You got to shoot me? But what does the cop do? Left of his visor, revealing another black man, be like, hey, pal, look, please just go home, all right? I want you safe. So here's a cop showing compassion. Junior could have been like, oh, wow, I guess you're all not, you're not all that bad. But no, he can't trust the police anymore because of what he's seen. So he's all like, shoot me, cop, what are you gonna do? You're gonna, you're gonna kill me, you're gonna hurt me, what are you gonna do? This cop is showing mercy, like, come on. He's all calm, like, this is the way a, you think, this cop, is a good example of a really good cop. Some the way a real police officer needs to needs to behave and like you know, act. He's being compassionate, you know, showing that he's here to protect us, not harm us. <sighs> but of course, it all goes downhill when Junior ends up shooting that cop in the face. Yeah, 
It's dreadful. Like, Junior, you're in the wrong here, buddy. This, this cop was trying to help you and you just decided to shoot him because you were following a false narrative that you created in your head. All right, that's, this is not what Queen and Son wanted. They just wanted to, like, you know, be free. They didn't want any of this to happen. And yet, because of this, you made things worse. But I see this as a prime example of how good cop... But I see this as a prime example of how good cops are the ones who get punished while the bad cops get away with it. That black officer who is showing Junior some compassion is an example of a good cop. All right, Someone who actually does his job, he's sincere, he's patient, and he knows like, hey, I think before I shoot. <sighs> but of course he ends up getting it at the end. Which, to be honest, that's what happens to really good cops these days. They end up getting punished for doing their job correctly. While the bad ones, pay time leave. Oh, you just been there for like two hours. You can come back though and be a cop again and do it all over again. It's a, it's a, it's a circle that needs to, you know, end. Because it's just repetitive and just terrible. That's for sure. So it does show the dark side of these protests that are happening. Because BLNet... So it does show the dark side of these protests that are going on. Because BLM is not all about killing cops and like, you know, you know, like doing just in your own hands and, you know, fighting fire with fire. No, no. They just want some justice. All right. They want the water that will drench the flames. All right. They want things to be peaceful. They don't want to be shot like animals. But of course, people are always misinterpreting the message. People see them as animals and people are acting like animals that in the end. The movement just is all for nothing. So I do hope that people understand the message this movie is trying to convey. Because no way this being anti-cop at all. No, 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 no. It's not saying once you leave this film, you know, find a cop and like, you know, start threatening him or anything. No, not at all. This is meant to spark conversation. This is meant to like, you know, understand that we have a problem going on that needs to be resolved quickly. All right. This is part of the solution, not the problem. So I do hope you enjoy you you enter this movie with an open mind and understand that this is a situation that needs to be fixed. So like so like Black and Blue and Twenty One Bridges, I made a running gag of calling those films the ultimate of the police movies <laughs> because damn the cops need to chill out that's for sure. Now while this movie is not trying to portray uh, an anti cop message, it does show a rather do not do this if you're a police officer kind of thing. Like, don't be that cop that drew his weapon on Slim just for talking. And definitely don't be those cops who surround Queen and Slim towards the end. Oh my gosh, this is going to be super spoilerific. And I hope you're ready to take this, you know, sit back and here's what happened. The ending is a major stab to the chest because we, be we begin to think that Queen and Slim are going to make it. There's the plane, they're going to fly out of the country and be free. Until we see the sirens approach behind them. And the next thing you know, there's an army. Behind, there's an army of cops behind them drying their guns. Be like, get on the ground because they're going to get them. So what do Queen and Slim do? They hold each other's hands. They're unarmed. They just stand there. Now, yeah, the cops are shooting. Uh, so what do Queen and Slim do? They hold each other's hand and just stand there. Now, it would be reasonable for the cops to just you know approach them because they're just standing. They're not. Do they're unarmed. They're not gonna do anything at all. No, approach them and arrest them. What did they do? One trigger happy cop ends up shooting and killing Queen, and of course she has the face like, "Uh oh, that was my bad." Like that is your bad because you can't take that back. All right, how many unarmed people of color have been killed by police over? How many p unarmed, how many unarmed people of color have been killed by the police over a slip up? That's it. Just because the cop made a mistake. Like you can't take that back. And that same cop that killed Queen was just there, still pointing her gun. Yeah, it was her. Also, all the cops were white, so that kind of goes to show you. The now I'm not saying white cops are bad. No, no, no. But like. I don't know. And she makes that face like, uh-oh, I made a mistake here. That's my bad. Yeah, that is your bad because you can't take that back, all right? What, did your finger slip? 
how many unarmed people of color have been killed by the cops all because their fingers slipped? They made a mistake. It was, oh, my bad. No, no, no. That is your bad. You can't take that back. It's ridiculous. So Slim picks her up, carrying her, and walks towards the cops, I guess, to accept his fate. So, yeah, the cops could have just, like, approached him, carrying Queen and arresting him. No, they're just shouting at him, yelling at him, and when he keeps walking forward, unarmed, they shower him with bullets. They murder him right there like that. I mean, there was a whole army of police there. Two of them could have just walked over them to to Slim to arrest him, but no, they just had to shoot him. I mean, he was unarmed. It was he his hands were occupied with carrying Queen's body. He wasn't going to he wasn't going to do anything threatening. <sighs> I mean, yeah, it definitely could have been played out so much differently. They could have arrested Queen and Slim. They could have gone on trial. And think of how many people might testify for them. Like, think of that southern sheriff who, let's say they held a gunpoint, but they spared. They're like, we're not going to kill you. We're not murderers. And he understood that, like, okay, I know there's bad cops out there. That's understandable. And he even offered to help them. So, like, that could have been their getaway ticket to like not spending life in prison. There could have been someone like, hey, this was all an accident with a self-defense. That could have been the outcome. Or I don't know. That, I don't know what could have happened. But no, they're, they're dead. They face a fate they, don't, they did not deserve at all. Yeah, it really pisses you off. But in the end, you learn to think. Yeah, it really pisses you off. But in the end, you start to realize this movie, its message would have been a lot better if it was a tragedy, like the way it ended. Because if it was just like a happy ending, then okay, we're just we got what we wanted. But if it's a tragedy with them dying, then they became martyrs to the whole movement. And then the next thing you know, they're icons. They're like they're symbols against police brutality and it kind of sparks a conversation as in like, hey, if we don't want this happening again, we gotta do something about this predicament that's going on right now. So them dying it's really an artistic move on this film's part because there's so much symbolism and the dialogue is well written and the characters are just so likable and beautifully written that you do learn to like this movie a lot. So Queen and Slim, as well as those who have been victims of those abusing their authority, rest in power. So overall, it is a beautiful film that really visualizes a rather thrilling but also freeing journey and it is just so beautifully directed and shot like this film is gonna win a lot of awards that's for sure because wow this is film that needed to be made today in the times that we're living in now like i said don't go out threatening the cops or anything no 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 instead engage in conversation in hopes that something like this never ever happens in our time because we don't want any of that stuff. We want peace. That's what matters the most. And that starts with you. So my rating is 9.3. So my rating is 9.3 bad cops out of 10 leopard dresses. Yeah, I guess Queen could not find a sweater in that place. So she just wore a leopard dress. She had to look a cat while on the run. It was fitting. All right. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe and join the crew. And let me just point out, we here at Sinegai, we are not anti-cop, nor are we saying the black people were in the wrong. No, 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 no. In fact, I'm anti-police brutality because we saw the outcome of a major what-if scenario. Because we don't want what happened in this film to ever, ever happen to anybody in this lifetime. Ever. So, we'll see you guys next week for a new... For, so, we'll see you guys next week for another awesome review. Until next time... This is Steven Angulo signing. So we'll see you next week for another awesome review. And until next time, this is Steven Angulo signing off. Power to the people.